The latest bill signed by President Biden will affect health, climate change, and the economy. The Inflation Reduction Act includes the biggest federal investment in climate change. It also caps prescription drug costs for Medicare recipients and helps some Americans pay for health insurance. Dr. Amanda Phelan, senior lecturer at the University of Florida, joins us live via Zoom to take a closer look at the bill. So good morning. First of all, thank you so much for being here. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, Dr. Phelan, this bill was signed into law amid historically high inflation. We know federal data shows annual inflation dropped slightly last month, but the consumer price index is at 8.5% as of July, right? Well, how does this law aim to address that? And will everyday people see a difference at all? Right. Well, the law aims to address it in the short term, but a lot of the policies contained in the bill are really going to have impacts in the medium to long term. So when I look at the Inflation Reduction Act, I see a lot of really great and positive investments, but I don't see a lot that's really going to push inflation down immediately in the short term. Term. That's the that's the bad news. The good news, though, however, is that inflation is coming down. I do believe that this summer we have seen the peak of inflation and that as supply chain bottlenecks continue to loosen around the world, we're going to continue to see those prices come down. But I think that's happening kind of outside of whatever is occurring because of the Inflation Reduction Act. OK, so it's going to come sooner than later. A lot of people are wondering when because, you know, we know they're coming down, but a lot of people still haven't seen it. So when do you think we'll actually be at that moment where we physically see the relief? I think it's going to come over the next couple of months. So we're going to start seeing it um, over the next quarter the next three the next three to six months definitely so I, I really do think that we hit the peak I will say that I think the one area where I believe that the inflation reduction act can have a pretty immediate effect is regarding prescription and health care costs the fact that Medicare has has not been able to negotiate drug prices with the pharmaceutical industry really does mean that we pay prices that are a lot higher for medications than people pay in the rest of the world. And as a matter of fact, American consumers end up subsidizing the very low prices that people in other countries pay for prescription drugs. So that ability to negotiate, I think, is really going to uh, help the pocketbooks of the average American that buys medication. And, you know, I'm someone who has to buy medication for for my family because they absolutely need it. And so these are these are costs that we pay weekly and monthly that I think that will have an impact. And outside of medication, what are some other effects on the economy that you think we will see as, you know, this trend continues? Right. So I think that in the medium to long term, the Inflation Reduction Act is designed to increase these investments in green energy, which I think is a really good thing. I think that kind of investment is long overdue. It's definitely needed. I also think that if you look at what's been happening with um, tax enforcement over the last 10 to 15 years, um, the IRS really has been underfunded and that the provisions that allow for more effective tax enforcement are also going to increase government revenue as well. Okay, well, thank you so much. A lot of insightful information, Dr. Phelan with University of Florida. Thank you.